Hi everybody. As most of you already know, or some of you already know, um, I'm selling stuff for right now, printed parts and the plates, the side plates. And you can see what happened to my order. They are missing the holes. They just marked them but didn't drill them through. They are going to send me new ones, but it would be a shame to throw those away. So I'm going to try to make a fixture where I can put them in, drill those holes and then have them ready for people to get as well. So let's see how I can do that. Okay, put my plates here just to see whether this is big enough. And now I'm going to cut recesses where I can put those plates and holes to pop them out later. And then I should be ready to go. I did program the tool path. I do have my end mills for drilling holes. So I'm gonna see how that works out. Now I first cut four holes here to fix those down because I'm just gonna do it without tabs because with tabs I would have the problem that I can't remove them completely and I want those to pop right in so I have to kind of fix those so I can just do it without tabs. Okay, and since Estelcam remembers where I was when doing that, I can just move it around freely. You can see like, and it's gonna start at where it left off. Okay, now you can see I cut some holes here, so I'll be able to pop those out later. And I used two pieces of wood, so I wouldn't need to cut a pocket. You can see I can now pop that right out, and I don't need to cut a pocket into the material, in this one or in this one. So I have saved quite a bit of time by taking two, because I can pop that right out without any hassle. Yeah, the trash. Now we have to see whether those fit. Perfect. See, that's what I wanted. I have a perfect fit of those plates. They aren't going to move at all. And Estelcam remembers, as I said before, the starting position. So if I now choose to, or I'm, 
I'm now going to exchange the end mill into a drill bit. And then I'm going to load a second program that has just the holes programmed. And as I said before, Estelcamp remembers where you were. So it still knows, even if I open another program, where zero is. That's why I can pretty easily just swap in the drill bit. I can actually, whoops, zero it already because it's not gonna change. It's like roughly because it's going through. And now I should be able and I don't know how well you're going to understand me because I never did it like that. Now I should be able to cut those holes out with the next program. Uh, wish me luck. Okay, let's see whether this is working. does collect some chips it's not getting warm at all so it's working fine it's not through though I think oh that is the problem of the z-axis it cannot go very low should is that the problem That shouldn't be the problem, okay. This should be through, I'm gonna check in a minute. Now let's do the other holes. That's a little annoying here. But there's no residue of any kind and now I should be able to pop those plates out. No, doesn't matter. Yeah, we have the holes, you can see that. Just the drill, but no, that shouldn't happen. Oh, that's the, that's the, you can see the markings of the shavings that turned around here, but it's exactly where the points were marked. You can see it here, those are the points that were marked and they are spot on. Yeah, the spray. Now I'm going to do that 10 more times and then I'm done here. Don't even need those. Now I can just hit start again. 
So start. <laughs> Now there aren't even any shavings and you can see second set of plates done it takes me like 1 minute 60 seconds now to do those and I have them exactly as I need them nice I'm happy so if you want to order plates they are now ready thanks for watching you guys and um, if you don't like to see me talk just tell me then I'm not going to do that again but it's like hip nowadays to show your face and talk a little bit and I don't even know how good the audio quality is with a shitty mobile and the quality while I was doing stuff but I'm going to see that in cutting and um, thanks for watching pop in the next time as well bye bye